39 weeks, six days today. You guys, tomorrow is my due date. Am I going in with you or no? I just pulled up to my doctor's office. Mike's, um, he just got back in his car. He met me here. We're probably gonna go for lunch after. But um, I have to go in and get checked out, see if there's, you know, any progress since my last appointment last week. Um, I don't feel like there has been, but you know, sometimes you don't feel anything. So we'll see. We don't have a plan right now if, you know, if I still am not showing any signs of impending labor. You know, I don't know what we're going to do. If we're going to schedule an induction or give it another week. But I don't know. I just got to go in and see what they say. And then, and then I guess just talk it out. But I'll let you know what's going on as soon as I get out. on a tornado watch. It is 12.09 uh, a.m. officially after midnight, which means that it is officially my due date and about 25 minutes ago, my water broke. So, I'm like all over the place. I don't even know what to do right now. I just know I gotta get our stuff and go to the hospital. So, I just cleaned my cat litter. I have to give them enough food. I have to throw like a couple last things in my bag. Huh. Totally unexpected. He knows something's up his hiding in here. Baby, we gotta go. Pack your bag. This one didn't believe me. 12.38 a.m. Oh man, it's pouring outside. So we have to go like 20 under the speed limit. And we're a half hour, we live a half hour from the hospital. So it's gonna take even longer to get there. We're on a tornado watch before. I have to pee. I'm leaking fluid. Sleeping. Just pulling up to the hospital now. Labor and delivery. Yeah, we've been here before, we know where to go. Where do I go? Pull in here and park. Officially all checked into the hospital. We're not going anywhere. Baby's coming. I'm currently in my room that I'll be delivering in. Um, but before I show you around really quickly, let's talk about how we got here. So, at like, I don't even know, before 10 o'clock, I had a bowl of cereal, everything was normal. Had my appointment today. <laughs> and still just about 80% effaced, not dilated at all really, maybe get a fingertip up there, but they wanted me to come back tomorrow, which is currently today, um, for just some monitoring and as long as baby was doing good inside, then they would either let me, you know, wait it out for the weekend and then maybe have another appointment on Monday because today is currently Thursday. Um, see if I go into labor on my own or we could schedule an induction. So 
10 o'clock at night, we're in bed. And then at 11.45, all I did, well, baby was moving. She was wiggling like so much, like nonstop wiggling, like all locked. And then I just like, cause I, I have a pregnancy pillow and I, you know, sleep with it between my legs. And I just lifted my leg up and like fluid squirted out. And I'm like, hmm, I definitely did not just pee myself. So I got up, went to the bathroom, fluid's leaking out. Um, I peed, I stopped peeing and then fluid was still coming out. So I'm like, oh my God, I think my water broke. I get up, it's like dripping into my hands. I tap Mike because he was sleeping in bed. And he's like, what? He woke up. Um, I told him I'm pretty sure my water broke. <laughs> Said I'm pretty sure my water broke and we gotta go to the hospital. And he's like, I don't believe you. But that's what was going on. Yeah, there's no denying it. My water broke, here we are without, you know, blabbing on too much. I was not having any contractions and now I am. And they hurt. Ow. Currently 3.09 a.m. April 29th. My due date. As soon as I do a little room tour here, I think I'm gonna try to get some rest. If I can, because <laughs> I've been up since this morning. Okay, well, I cannot get up out of bed because I have the monitor on my belly and I'm hooked up to a million different things. So, maybe a tour from my bed. <laughs> That's the uh, entry into the room. Over here is the monitor station. And if you see this pink line on the bottom there, those are my contractions. That's my lovely IV. And then over here is doctor's hand washing station and some other stuff. Right here is where baby is gonna go when she's born. We'll clean her up and that's like a little heater to keep her warm. I've got the TV. Bathrooms back in this door, and then Mike's trying to rest while he can. How comfy is that couch? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> they checked me, and I am like not dilated <laughs> at all, or at least I wasn't as of an hour ago. So what they did is they gave me some Cytotec to help my cervix soften more. Um, and then they'll check me in a couple hours, see if I've changed it all. And then if not, they might give me another dose and then eventually I might get some Pitocin to bring on stronger contractions, but I think I'm contracting pretty good right now, so we'll just see, you know, what the cyto Cytotech does along with the contractions that I'm having, and I'll give you an update when I know.
Okay, what a morning. Like, I haven't even given an update since, I don't even know what. Um, where do I start? <sighs> um, so I got the first dose of Cytotec to soften my cervix and you know, hope that I'll dilate a little bit. That did nothing. Um, I got a a little a, a shot of fentanyl, some pain medication because um, contractions were they were painful. They were probably about a five, but nothing too bad. Um, but that medication helped me to. Gosh, what time was this? This was like three or four. No, two. It was around two or three. That medication helped me to like, I didn't sleep, I didn't, I wasn't able to nap, but I was at least able to like rest a little bit. So then, you know, that wore off and um, four hours later, they check me again. Still no dilation, not even a fingertip really, so. I had to take another dose of Cytotec and I asked if um, by this time uh, my contraction pains were getting really bad. So I asked if they could give me more of the medication and she did for the pain medication. She gave me a stronger dose this time. That was like seven something around 7 15 maybe oh, it was pretty early so that pain medication did nothing contractions felt like they were so much worse i'm sitting here crying like i have a pretty high pain tolerance i think at least um but these are period pains on steroids, like worse than steroids. And I know that if it's, if it's bringing me to tears, it is scale one to 10, a 20. And it just, I can't even help it. I was just brought to tears pretty much the entire time. So then she um, ended up giving me a third medication in my IV to help ease the pain and this one um, it was something different it wasn't the fentanyl I don't know what it was but she just warned me that it'll make me like super drowsy so that medication I feel like instantly made made my contractions worse <laughs> like not the contractions worse but the pain i felt like it made the pain a thousand times worse like it did not even touch that pain it just made me super sleepy so i'm starting to get the shakes um i feel like sitting there like oh, oh. 
sound like normal. <laughs> like I can't even, this whole last hour has been a blur of just me crying <laughs> to myself. I think I've been crying for like three hours straight, but I can't help it. Um, the pain was just so bad. And then, I don't even know why, I don't even know why the doctor checked me, but she came in and checked me and she's like, she's a nine. Do you want an epidural? I'm like crying as she's feeling me like so much pain. Nine flipping centimeters from not even a fingertip in what? An hour? It's 9.30. It's 9.40 a.m. right now. So yeah, the doctor, um, she felt me and she's like, yeah, she's uh, nine centimeters. And they're like, what? No. Um, so they like, ugh, I'm just like a mess. They called for the epidural and they like rushed in and I was able to get that done super quick. Um, but I could not even, my arm is like so tired from holding that. Um, I could barely even sit up in the bed. The pain was so bad. So they were gonna see if they could do an epidural laying down with me laying down, but that's usually only like an emergency situation where they do that. So somehow I was able to sit up and, you know, get in the position enough where they can get the epidural done. And oh my God, like, thank God for epidurals because I, I don't even know how I would survive. Um, so right now it is 9.40, it's almost 9.45 a.m. And I'm, I can still move my legs and everything. I don't know, I just feel a little bit numb down there, but at least the pain is gone. take a, a breath of relief and yeah she said probably by like what 10 or 10 30 10. 10 if they're gonna check me again and I don't, they said I'll probably start pushing soon I'm like I'm not ready <laughs> Baby's gonna be here very soon. Very, very, very soon. I'm nervy. Wish me luck. I just got checked. It is 11th. When you look at the IV about, like a lot. Yes, on the wrong hand. It's uh, just about 11.15 and I just got checked, cervix is gone, um, she, the nurse checked with the doctor to see if she wants to have me start pushing, um, but we're going to hold off for another 30 minutes. So I just switched positions, I'm sitting upright now with my legs kind of bent and knees toward each other. Um, Feeling. It's uncomfortable sitting like this or no? It's fine. Really? It's just, it's uncomfortable having like numb, numb skin. I can feel stuff leaking out of me still. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, no pain. Feel good. Yeah. Hold on. He's peeking at everything that's under the the tarp, the stuff that you don't want to see. <laughs> Put your knives. Do you know what an episiotomy is? No. Can you guess? No. <laughs> that's where they cut you down if if they need if you're gonna tear really bad, cut you so the baby could come out. Gross, I hope I don't need that. <laughs> hey, I fixed this hair anyway in a new position and I'm starving. I've been up for over 24 hours. Are they gonna let me cut the cord? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Was hoping to look a little bit better during this, but hey, some things you just can't control. So I'm really, really hope it doesn't take like hours of pushing. <laughs> I hope it's like 10 minutes and she's here. Maybe the next update is when we're gonna have a baby. You okay? Did you get tired? That's okay. Here we can put him down. It gets real exhausting real fast. You can try to get all over your head just a little bit more. So you have to reach up just a little bit further, okay? Now you're doing really good. Like I said, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. When she gets up underneath your bone, it goes so much faster. One more, okay, and then we can take a break. How about that? Your breath and go. You got this, you got this, make this your best, make it your best. Good. Awesome. Okay, relax. Good job. Okay, what we can do is we're gonna take just a little bit of break so that you can rest up just a little bit and it still allows her to come down some more while we're doing that. Okay. So what we will do. all the way on your side and then I'm gonna have your leg come all the way over. Um, I'll, I'll help you, don't worry. Um, and then that way you're laying on your side in kind of this runner's open position and it keeps your pelvis open the entire time so she can just keep on sliding down while you're resting, okay? So it's like you're still working but you're resting. So in order to do that, I'm gonna kind of move you this way. There you go. And then we'll turn to your side. Let's grab this pillow over here. for about 15 minutes. Got my leg up, I'm laying on my side. 
just to see if we can try and get her down a little bit more. I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm pushing. Like, I feel like I'm just doing nothing except my face is turning bright red. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll watch a little video really quick on what I'm supposed to be doing while I'm pushing. So it is like five to two. That shakes again. Um, just did some more pushing for about another hour, and now I'm laying on my other side to try and bring her down some more. And my epidural is like totally warm up. I have like the biggest gas bubble, like burp, stuck like right here. I keep trying to get it out. But it won't come out. <laughs> so we'll be back there just relaxing now. <sighs> Should be coming in any time now to start pushing again. Ugh, this sucks. I don't know what I'm doing.
kind of talked about that a little bit just in case we needed it, okay? So we have our nickname team that comes just on standby for when, anytime we put on a okay? So they'll be around. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a lot going on. You're doing great. Let's work hard and have a baby. You're gonna fish, we're gonna pull. Take your best We've got the whole team here. Right, everybody's looking out for her, okay? She just has one spot, she doesn't want to go to that. Oh, you did everything. You have worked hard. I'm gonna have to check on Mary. Okay, you're good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Big breath in. And go. Push down. Push, 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 one more, 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 Yes, I'm telling you, she's big. You're great, you're great. There we go. Good job.
She's looking at me. Mm -hmm. she, she looks at me and stops crying. 